these some more baking tips and this one is going to be about when you add fruit to your cake batter okay say we're making cupcakes in some of my recipes i've got like so blueberries or raspberries in in your cupcakes or, or your cake now if you coat the fruit in flour before you fold it into the mixture it will actually reduce all of it sinking to the bottom of your cakes um, some might still escape um, the best way to coat it and easiest for it to actually still take on the flour is actually to use frozen fruit or what you could even do is um, once you've prepared your fruit you could put it in the fridge and let it get a little bit wet or even just wet it even might work as well um, it you know the flour will stick on to it better the other thing as well is don't mix in the fruit as you would normally anything else um, you want to actually fold it in gently at the very end so your very last stage you will fold it in with a spatula or a palette knife and very gradually put it in but um, add it in in batches maybe half it or a third of it at a time and then you get an even distribution through your batter um, but add as quickly as you can um, apologies for the noise in the background that's the computer giving me notifications um, yeah work quick if you're using frozen because it will start to soften and the soft more soft it is then it the, the it might bleed a bit more from the fruit and um, you know the color of the fruit bleeding into the, the cake batter so here's some pics of the flour coating uh, in this case it was blueberries um, you can do the same with cherries as well, frozen cherries, frozen anything to be honest, it'll, it'll help, it'll work out. That's about it really. So thanks for watching, that's our info on Baking with Fruit.